are you the fun time? Huh? You're the girl the sleazy breezy agency sent out, right? Who wants to know? Your boyfriend for the night, honey. Ugh. So I'm just gonna lay a couple ground rules. Number one, I want the lights on and you blindfolded. Two, I don't want your mouth anywhere near me. They call you an escort, but you're still a filthy fucking whore. Kid, who the hell are you? Well, I won't get your heart, so you don't get my name. Ugh. My new business was slow, but they don't even hang up on children now. Oh, I'm hung up all right. No! Ridiculous! I'm not fucking a kid! Gross! What if I told you on the inside, I'm more man than you can handle? Huh? Hmm. That sounds like the operation we were trying to find! How'd you know about it? Oh, simple. They hired me and the other agency girls to test out the service. Dangerous. Says the child sharing a ride with a prostitute. How about we cuddle tonight while I tell you the rest? Mm-hmm. By the way, I want you to pretend to be my sister. So they still know nothing about Nap.me, and I'm gonna keep it that way. This is my case now. It's not so much a pride thing, well actually it is, but it's not so much a pride thing, it's the sheer irony. My search for a distant trap drove someone close to me right into it. I'm not even sure if it's about the girl anymore. I just can't let the universe win. But it all comes back to her. Where the hell would she choose to be held? Christ, I thought I had women figured out. But who can I go to that actually does? Wait. By the way, thanks for meeting here. I know it's not Denny's, but it'll have to do. Sweetie, it's absolutely fine. No need to thank me again. Okay. So you really don't know where she picked? She's your girlfriend, after all. I need a woman's perspective. A woman who's been kidnapped by Nap.me. Huh. Can I smoke in here? Smoke, grill, saute, do whatever the fuck you want in here. It's not Denny's. Now what's the scoop? Where'd she go? <sighs> well, when they were testing us, we all ended up coincidentally picking high places like the rooftops of Tall Towers. Now, they realized the briefing had something to do with it. We were told, pick a place where they'll only find you if they love you. Hmm. So all the agency girls went to testing right after some governor's fancy mansion party with cookie-less fortunes. And those fortunes said, the ones you love are always above you. Hmm. So you won't need to search high and low, just look above. It's actually funny because the man who ran the test was fired. They thought he forged the results out of laziness. He threatened to expose the whole operation as he walked out. Later that day, he was shot dead in a phone booth. Huh? Women. Ah! How'd I forget that shit? White woman needs a taxi! Oh, and by the way, think run down. I have a booking on Attack of the Show. Step on it. Good. The ones you love are always above you. 